Okay, this is a four-way stacked vertical antenna. And you can see going down it here, it's huge. It's got 2.8 meters between each antenna, which is the optimum to get the maximum gain from this type of antenna. Okay, this is for one of our clients in Nigeria called Emmanuel. And we've, we're testing this at uh, 103.7, but it has been tested at 88 with zero reflection, and it has been tested at 108 with zero reflection. Anyway, the two here are combined, they split here, they go into this splitter box, and then the two here at the bottom are combined, they go into this splitter box, and then both the bottom two, which you can see here, and the top two, which you can see here, they're combined together finally in this centre splitter box, which goes down here, our little test device here. I hope you can see the numbers, just about. Okay, well, I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it says 103.7. Okay, and you can see the reflection here. meter set to full zero reflection in fact we can turn the calibration right over so it's on full it's still at zero this is like 1.0 absolute zero uh, I don't think you can see the frequency counter okay that should read 103.7 and that is another amazing four-way stacked vertical antenna. By the way, each one of these antennas can handle at least a kilowatt. So the whole stack, really, can handle about four kilowatt of transmitter. And the only thing that limits that are the, um, are the end connectors. Um, if we were to use uh, DIN 7 16th connectors, then each dipole would be, each, uh, each vertical antenna would be handling 2K, 2K each, you know? It could be up to 8 kilowatt handling power. 